Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is Ali Shama. So here we have a blessing from Gearbest today to show you and inside is a 250, I believe it's 250mm but somehow even a 280 or 260mm quadcopters are called 250mm quadcopters from Chinese manufacturers. But anyway, this is a kind of quadcopter that is going around a lot these days on Chinese manufacturers websites or Chinese online retail websites. This is a RoboCat. 250mm or 250 size FPV racing quadcopter. Inside, well, this is a PNP kind of version that you have to build. It's a kit in uh, simple terms, I should say, or actual terms. So inside, I have got the uh, Simon K series Emax ESCs. Well, I'm not sure how good they are, but so far I didn't have much luck with Emax ESCs. Anyway, so we have made in China four pieces. Simon K, come on, this is a time of birthless or I don't know what form we're going on these days. Anyway, so I'm happy with, uh, I'm an old guy and I'm happy with old Simon K series from where? Now we have a CC3D, um, okay, with a mounting kit. Then we have propellers, one pair of propellers, another pair. These are really El Chipo propeller, I can tell you that. So try, I will try to use my own propellers. Uh, we have a power distribution board. We have the Mars Power. This is Mars Power. I believe this is a 2300 kV motors because that's the kV going on, going around these days. It features high torque, enduring high temperature above 180 degrees. So this will this will be a nice motor for the white temperatures. Excellent efficiency, stated design, high quality construction with ball bearings and hardened steel shafts. Mm, I love steel shafts. All right. <laughs> anyway, so we have four of the. Uh, excuse me for this kind of jokes. Uh, four of the motors. Then we have canopies. Okay, and three three pieces of canopies for RoboCat. All right, and then a big bag with a RoboCat inside. Okay, so let me lay down all these uh, components on the table now and give you a closer look. I will talk about these components, and after that, you will have to give me some time to build it. Actually. Okay, here are all the components of the RoboCat here. Hey, check out this canopy. I believe the new Vortex, one of the new of Vortex quadcopters are using exactly the same canopy. Hey Vortex, what's going on in version RC? I don't know. Uh, are you just selling this RoboCat or RoboCat is selling you? Who is copying who? Just tell us that. Anyway, I have no idea who is copying who. The copying keeps going on. I'm also a victim of copying. <laughs> I'll, I'll not go there. Let's take a look at these motors, okay? Alright, motor right here says Mars Power uh, 2300 kV. As I've mentioned before, it is a 2300 kV. But looking at this motor, but looking at this motor, I feel these are DYS motors, which is, could be an OEM from DYS. Now, to be honest, DYS OEM from many other manufacturers. So it's basically OEM of OEM of OEM, all these motors, I'm not sure what. Anyway, here we have Simon K uh, series ESCs from Emacs, and we have CC3D and mounting accessories. Apart from all other things, let's take a look at the uh, frame components itself. The thing that we are concerned about is the thickness on the arms. Now let's focus on this one, hold on. So you can see arms are pretty thick. I'm not worried, they're not gonna break that easily until unless this carbon fiber is not that good quality like uh, all those little carbon fiber kits going around, they, be, uh, they actually get fatigued, they actually get break very, very easily. Anyway, so that is pretty thick, uh, the plates are pretty thick as well, and this could be the upper part of the quadcopter where the canopy will be mounted. Accessories, the screws, and the standoff, and everything is good. I hate the propellers, these are by far the worst quality or the cheapest quality propellers ever. Anyway, so uh, propellers, you can always buy a good one. I use doll propellers and I love them. They don't break that easily. Now that 
We have just taken a look at the components. I'm happy seeing the kit. Uh, it looks rough and tough. I'm happy seeing the motors. They look okay. I'm not sure about the performance. And I am okay with the Salmon K series multi-copter professional <laughs> ESCs from Yin Yang model. Anyway, these are 12 amp ESCs, I forgot to tell, tell you. These are 12 amp ESCs. I'm not sure I can do 4S setup on RoboCat, so I will have to locate my old 3S batteries and get, get them out and see what this quadcopter can do on 3S. But I got BL Heli ESCs, I got 2500 KV insane crazy OFM customized motors and of course dull propellers. So after testing this stock equipment for RoboCats that is supplied from Gearbest or whatever, whoever is offering the RoboCat kit, after testing I will toss these things out and put in my own trusted crazy 4S setup on this frame and see what this frame can do there. All right, here we are with the RoboCat 270, the copy of copy, of course, and uh, let's give it a try in altitude mode, or sorry, attitude mode, all right. I did not install my FPV system yet because I don't want uh, to fly FPV until I am really, really happy with this quad. I'm running three blades, five inch propellers and uh, so far punch is not very good because I'm running a 3S battery and that's the maximum you can run on this thing. For now, for beginners, I'm sure this has plenty of power and speed. Something happened. Burned the motor. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Those motors are gone now. They add sand. <laughs> Plenty of sand. So, the stock setup flew less than two minutes. And I would like my friend Abdul Rahman here to give me some conclusions. Give me some conclusions because the very first time when Abdul Rahman saw it and he was playing with the motors and uh, he checked everything, he had something to say. So these are all the honest comments we are bringing you. Actually, I saw, I saw that the uh, shaft was bended. Right. And One of the motor shafts. Yeah, it came out of the box like this. So actually, I advise to change it. Before they, uh, you fly it, but but I wanted to test the stock exactly, setup. Exactly. Yeah, I think the motor burned or the ESC burned because of the friction of the motor. But in general, the body is strong. I hate, I hate the canopy. I really me, hate it. I me too, actually. It <laughs> uh, actually, even the quality of the canopy is not good. If you can see, it's broken. It is already. And when I was putting in the screws. Here, I hate the balcony here. On top. Yes. This is all removable, so yeah, Abdul Rahman is suggesting that we remove the top part completely, yes. it will lighten the quadcopter. Actually, you can put the VTX underneath the top plate and without all of these messy things that you need. If you broke, if you crash this, you will take forever to fix it or to find out the parts. At the same time, even building it will be a pain. Yep. But I think it's, it's nice. What, if what's we your put a decent motor, like a very good quality motors in the ESCs, it will fly beautiful. Right. Because I've seen these taking a hit. The copy of the copy, not the copy of the copy <laughs> of the copy. Taking yeah. serious hits and it just rolled uh -huh. and came out with broken prop only. So, so do you do you suggest we still try with the canopy? We put in a quality motors and setup, then we yes. try with the canopy? Yes, something new, mm -hmm. something high quality that has proven that it's working. Such as this is a ready to fly quad. Yeah. There is a lot of ready to fly quads that, yeah, it's much more expensive, but at the same time, they fly great. Right. Yeah, yeah. But this one, 
Uh, honestly, it was disappointing to see how the uh, stock setup failed completely. So next, uh, I'm gonna put in some quality items in it, like Cobra motors and uh, brushless heli 30 amp ESCs, and then we will see how it will rip. And we'll yes. take up the Rayman suggestion by removing the canopy and the balcony on top. Yes, <laughs> balcony is yeah. a nice word, man. <laughs> it is a balcony. You'll remove yes. the balcony, make it uh, lighter, and then see how this frame will behave. Exactly. Thank you very much, Abdul Rayman. If you're buying this, whatever source this came from, if you're buying this, please do not buy with the stock setup motors and ESCs. Just buy the frame and then go for your own setup. Enjoy. Well, I'm gonna fly Phantom Let's 4 go. maybe. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe because we upload regular and exciting RC videos.